Welcome back guys to Golden Sun where Lumpa Fortress has been cleared that we're making our way out once again after buying lots of powerful equipment and some of you might be wondering why I didn't exactly buy myself the other artifact unavailable because a demonic weapon is basically what it sounds like. The curse that we've heard from the healers before will probably be on it so while it is an increase in damage the curse is not a good thing. Supposedly it stops you sometimes, if I remember correctly, moving in battle, so it acts like a paralysis as well. There are ways you can get past it, but we have none of those ways at the moment. The selling of the Angelic Ankh, if you think about it, was probably not that great an idea because it was an attack increase on me. However, my weapons fits my element, if you know what I mean, so we'll stick with that as we head on out the place. Though, as informed by you guys, there's still business for me to be had here. So with that said, we leave from whence we came, as asked. But supposedly we want to sneak back in once again, when we can. Right, we definitely saw something there. I think I just saw someone just now. Yeah, I saw something too. Do you think the Domba's henchmen have found us? No, I imagine not. I imagine this is onwards forces from Calais, if anything. Scouting out the area. Huh? You think there's someone else out there? Just a moment! Is that you, Bunza? <gasps> that voice! It had to be, if you think about it. It's Hammond, because this is the only other way in, and it's definitely a scouted area. So, the Dumpin never had any intention of releasing Hammond? That's right. That's why Ivan and his friends came to the rescue. Once Ol has made up his mind, we all decided to come save Hammett. Hey, Ivan, are you saying this was all Ollis's idea? No, no, I mean, you and Mia helped us too. Thank you, Ollis, Garrett and Mia. And of course, you too, Ivan. You sure did a good job finding this cave, Bunza. Yes, impressive work you did, Bunza. It was pure coincidence. I really didn't want to come to Lumpa. Because we knew the thieves had Hammett imprisoned. And why did you come here? I recalled what Hammett told me about being a successful merchant. Really? He told you that you should start trading in Lumpa? No, I meant his more general words of wisdom. Merchants must not judge customers on their appearances. Do not avoid a place just because something unpleasant may happen. As long as customers await your goods, you must do everything in your power to sell to them. So you came to serve the villagers even though you despised the Dompa? Fate put this opportunity before you. Why did you think a Calais merchant would be permitted into Lumpa? I didn't. In fact, they would not let me in. Yet, knowing that, you still came? But you know what? There was that huge commotion, right? He must be in the activity caused by Dompa's rumours. All came together for me. That commotion was related to Hammett. I had to find out what was going on. And that's how you found this cave. I'll bet you couldn't find any way to get that gate open from this side. Then all of a sudden it moved, so I hid behind a rock. We startled you, didn't we, Bunza? I'm just glad you were able to get Hammett out safely. Why do you say it like that, Bunza? The Dumper's henchmen have been combing the area. Even if they aren't after Hammett, if they find him, they might capture Hammett again. Let's get out of here quickly! But we have to escape without being seen by the Dompa's henchmen. What should we do, Wallace? Should we stay and fight? Yeah, that's, that'd be fine. Saving Hammett from that fortress was dangerous enough. And what should we do, Bunza? We could be rear guard. We can fight them off. I have a wagon nearby. A wagon? That's right. Let's all go back to Calais in my wagon. Why the wagon stand out? It was searched by the Dumper's henchmen. There's no need to worry. I've been here since before the commotion. Right. They've already seen your wagon around. 
That's correct, Garrett. They don't suspect me of being involved. And let's take that wagon to Calais. Should we ride in the wagon too? No, we've kind of got business in the area that I know of. Huh? You don't want to ride in Bunza's wagon? Uh, no, I don't. So what? You've changed your mind? You do want to go with him? No. I'm confused. Now I'm totally confused. You've changed your mind again? Stop wasting our time. Are we riding in the wagon? No. Huh? You don't want to ride in Bunza's weapon? Yes. Do you have some unfinished business in Limpa? Yes, I've been told by you lovely subscribers. If you insist, then I'll stick with you. Hey, I can't leave you two here by yourselves. I'll stay behind too. Harris, I'm gonna go with Ollis too. Yes, Ivan, you should accompany your friends on this mission. I'm disappointed we can't travel home together, but I understand. Be careful, Ivan. Sure thing, we'll come visit you in Calais because it's on our way back to our main progress area after all. Ah, <sighs> they've gone. I hope Hammett and Buns are making it to Calais safely. They'll be okay. I'm sure they'll make it there in one piece. Well, let's get going ourselves, Ollis. We're off. And so with that said, I'm going to leave the area and rejoin. Well, actually, does that open up now? It makes sense to me that it would kind of open at this point, maybe a little bit. If the Dumper's still around after all, going around, he's in jail, and Dumper's there to sort things out otherwise. Oh yeah, I can't flip that switch, can I? I was thinking maybe the switches would be sorted out now that I've kind of opened it from the other side as well. No, no siree, Bob. Let's puzzle our way through again, because there is one final reward. Frost indeed. Powerful frost, mind you, to push that upwards. I know frost in a crack can move rock, break rocks, and all that jazz, but still. Right then, let us sneak around. Once again. So this time round, we don't have to do so much sneaking. Because, of course, we've opened up the way. Or at least we have the key on us, let's put it that way. Right, this brings us back to... Is this the Dumper's room uh, Dumper's room this way or that way? Because that's our destination here. Uh, 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 that was stupid. Right, it must be this way then. No, it must be... That way. I believe I forgot something that only pretty much just happened. And more enemies appear, so it's time for us to use our new weapons. Would you like an acid bath, sir? I'm sure you would. It's pleasant, don't you know? No effect on Ivan? He's the swordsman now, and Heat Mirage comes out to deal 131 damage. I'm pretty sure that would probably deal delusion damage as well, or delusion status effect. But Ivan gets to work with his sword there. I wonder if keeping his old weapon or putting the assassin's blade on him with something like that would be better, but to be honest, it might also lower his overall... If it's an earth-based weapon, it might lower his, you know, damage. What I was warned off doing many times before. Reveal, press the switch. Now I'm quite confused as to where I'm going, of course. Let's open that up. Because this brings me back to the dumper anyway. I don't mind because I kind of want to find out what's exactly going on. Resistance drops with Ivan's weapon here. Let's do an acid bath on someone. Come on, we really want to see that. Right, well that's done. We'll defend and attack with a big scorch attack. That should finish the job, surely. Except it was Ivan I needed to attack with, who has now become a level 22 Magister. Master, the Magisters resist. New ability gained, so I'm guessing that boosts resistance as a whole. So the puzzle needs to be redone here. I can't jump over, so that seems to be the way things are. Checking out things back is an interesting experience, that's for sure. It's someone we've just done. Right, so all of these places are shut once again. I like how they've reset everything in some senses. Right then, Rat Warriors. You're not going to like this kind of damage coming out. Cyclone Slash. Resistances go down, which means that one's doomed. Smoke Bomb comes out, no effect. And Garrett attacks. It doesn't have the weakness strike or... A element on the weapon anymore. Though obviously it is some kind of fiery ability. You might be defending, but I still think that's going to take you down. 
Stop trying to defend me! Right, so pushing this this way will sort us out. Hopefully there'll be no more battles. But Limpa really is keeping us occupied at the moment. There's other treasures that I need to pick up in the world as well. Other sections that we forgot since the start of the game. Well, let's push! Heave! Ho! Oh, we can make it. We don't need the Assassin's Blade anymore, so I guess... To be honest, we don't need to go use our lucky medals at this point. Well, I guess it makes us money. Alright, let's gust that once again. I always say gust. What am I, a Pidgey? Reveal the switch. And get on moving. Alright then, so what we've done is brought ourselves all the way back down to the Domper. The motion from Calais is in here somewhere. He's not going anywhere. What do you mean? Okay. You've realized that the dumpers got free? I was wrong. I'll turn over a new leaf, Dad. Please forgive me. The key doesn't work. Maybe Dumper changed the locks. Well, that's a really good idea. In the meantime, we might synergy you. Kind of read your mind a little bit, maybe? I can't believe what you did to me. When I get out of here, I'll get you all. Oh, really? So hasn't had any change of heart in this small amount of time where you wouldn't expect it to be, that's for sure. Actually, it's a dumpers in here, but only a few people know that. As long as we're on guard, no one will find out. Well, I like your style, sir. I like your style indeed. I like the way this is all working out. Alright then, so it's time to find ourselves Domper's room. And with a little bit of battling and all that to do, I'm going to use a little power of editing cut. Oh, acid bath. We finally get to see that. A purple cloud? of weakness damage comes out and does quite nicely. Heat Mirage, we'll finish off that group. And so we move on to find our final reward. And so after a little bit of searching around and realizing that I could take on the red guys again with no ill effect, though it's a bit of a shame for me to beat up the thugs after being told to leave nicely, we reach our way back to Domper's room. Hello, madame. Domper is very grateful for what you have done. Thank you for your help with the Domper! I have a little something for you for your teaching the Domper's lesson. Give these people a token of my gratitude. Deep within there is an interesting creature that I fought once long ago. I give this to you. Please take good care of it. Okay then, sir. So we're allowed straight on through. Dumb is very grateful. I'm sure he is. And we find ourselves one very special reward. Though nothing else in the buckets. And it seems this creature just wants to join us in the fight. So as we get soaked yet again, we get the Mercury Genie Tonic. Who has joined Gareth. That's the wrong person because of course we're moving that straight over to improve the class yet again. Right then, what will that give us? Well, it heals all party ailments, which is a very nice ability here. Right, set will boost HP a ton, PP near, attack of course around 20, defense around 20, agility up a little bit more, the luck keeps on improving. No new synergy, but when you've increased from a cleric to a paragon, you can't really complain, so we get nearer to maxing out our genie list, only five more to go. So with one more secret picked up here, it's time for us to move on to one that we noticed very long back. So, to a cave it is near Mia's hometown. With well, the power of editing, of course. And so we have returned all the way to Billablin Cave, where we're aiming to douse a little bit of fire to get ourselves a reward. We noticed way past. There were areas that we could get to, but we couldn't quite get to them at the time. So with a little bit of douse there, the fire goes out, an ice statue grows, but we have to find a way to it as well. So with our power levels easily able enough for everyone to be able to take one opponent at a time, and or not so much, I thought that ghoul would go down nicely. Obviously Ivan is just not powerful enough. Ghoul attacks for a whole one damage. And we get it nicely down, oh, <laughs> nimbly dodges the blow, Ivan's not having a good day with his new sword, that's for sure. With that done, we need to head out, or back as the case may be because the way to go seems to lead to somewhere else and a bit of the reveal spell to reveal some secrets, that's for sure. Though a dead end there reveals nothing. It's not there we're interested in to the larger value. Right, so let's just go in with everyone we can. A Cyclone Slash will take you out. Oh, Nimbly dodges again. 
while Mia deals with the troll. Heat Mirage works to take out that one, and with our new powerful weapons, we continue forge onwards. But where we're aiming to head to requires us to head out of here. Because we have to attack this from a weird angle, I'd say. A little bit of reveal is never a bad thing. So, with a switch of a gin, let's just give you sap for the time being and a change of your class. A growth here to open this up before switching you back. And we head upwards. But well, we are heading round to where we got ourselves a sword last time, or got ourselves a sword before. Well, there is more to reveal or more to do because obvious stone formation says hello door. And will that said and done us needing to douse this to make our path through as well? A little back of further back in the game puzzles are mainly complete apart from ghouls appearing yet again. Out of our way, sir, we've got ourselves puzzles to do, people to see. Right, Gnome takes 100 damage, exactly, everyone's going down. When we make it through without much of an issue, we still get experience points here, however, that's nice. A little bit, let's put it that way, and jump our way over. Which gets us to a place with two more treasure chests, a water of life, and a Psy Crystal. Two nice little tools there for later on exploration, so with this cave checked out, it's time for us to head back through to the other side of the Gondawan cave. Let us get our move on with the power of editing. Though, instead of heading through the Gondawan cave, I remembered that we had comments about some cutscenes or some little sub-events that we haven't seen and wondered if we could trigger them. So I've come all the way through the Billabin cave to Emil, of course, because I remember there being lists of stuff talking about treasures there are for me to find around the place, or important treasures, let's put it that way, as we look inside the oven to get ourselves a lucky pepper from Ivan. So, if we use that to boost our luck on our unluckiest person, which unfortunately is Garrett. He is not the luckiest person at all, so his luck increases. I know some people like to min-max, they like to boost up one character quite a bit. Me, I just like to try and disperse it evenly and work on people's weaknesses so that everyone's a bit more even. Let's put it that way, that's just how I kind of do my thing. So as we move over, let's check here with Reveal as well. Find ourselves... Another lucky medal? Well, the person who died there wasn't so lucky. And come into here where supposedly a sub-event can be found, and seems it's still here. Mia! We were worried that you wouldn't come back! I'm so sorry, you two! Mia, we have a problem! The Mercury Lighthouse, it's been lit! Mia, you already knew? For quite some time. What's the matter? You look strange today, Mia. I... how should I tell you? You have something to say? What is it? Well, I... uh... I... I'll be joining Ollas on his quest. Well, has been for quite some time. It's very hard for me to leave you, but it's the lighthouse. You said the world would be in danger if the lighthouse was lit, right? Is that why you're leaving? To protect the world? Yes, that's right. Then, there's nothing we can do. We won't try to stop you then. After all, you were trying to protect the Mercury Clan. Yes, I am. As members of the Mercury Clan, we will protect Imel ourselves. So don't worry, okay? I will try hard and learn to heal as well as you, Mia. Okay, I'll leave the village in your hands, Megan, Justin. We can leave without any worries now. Well, I'm guessing this has been plaguing your mind for quite a while, considering. Sorry, kids, for leaving you behind. I'll be a kind girl like Mia. Come back sometime and see me all grown up. I want you to. What do you say about it, sir? Mia's going on a journey with you, right? <laughs> it makes me sad, but I'll try to be a good healer. 
And with that said, we catch a sub-event that we should have caught ages ago. I missed it, but we also got ourselves a lucky pepper from going around, so there's goodies across the world to pick up. But really, instead of going through the Gondawan Cave at the start of next episode, well, we should be going through it anyway, but we should head to Calais, if you think about it, see if Master Hammett has been delivered safely. We'll see what Leana says next time. Join me then for more Golden Sun. We picked up a fair load of goodies and got ourselves a new gin. And that's always good for an episode. Bye-bye.